This is our A90 Toyota Supra, and this is a table full of parts we're gonna be installing in today's video, but first, I'm gonna show you what not to do when modifying your car. There you go, baby. That's how you load your Supra for free. Oh yeah, that was super sketchy. How to lower your car for zero schmeckles. Aya! Basula! That's precision right there, brother. So we cut one full quill out of the front and a quill and a half out of the back. Now what that relates to in terms of how high this car is gonna be, I have no idea. I've never cut springs before, so we're gonna find out. You ready? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Watch it make a really <laughs> bad noise. Oh, the back's pretty low. We gotta cut more, I think. Oh, the back's muddy, dude. Nailed the back. The back's perfect. 1.5 out back. That's good, that's solid. That's exactly what I was after. We did this for science. The perfect so. spec right there. I think this front is lower than the other front. Yeah, what the heck? It's gotta be the way it's seated. Cutting springs, not consistent left to right. Would we agree, would we agree <laughs> with that? Probably at all, corner to yeah, corner, it's no. not consistent. The back looks pretty close. Yeah, the back but looks pretty close. I think we should drive it. People know how to drive. <laughs> Dude, Come on, boys, guy. let it rip. Bro. So first instinct is the nose is gone. It's way Feel up. this thing already. I don't think we should go very far. It's making some really bad noises. Yeah, we probably shouldn't drive this very far away from the shop. I really hope you guys can pick up the spring on the camera. Feel how bouncy it feels though? It's like, super stiff. It was never like this before. No, not at all. And so this is literally 23 miles an hour. This would be terrifying at freeway speed. It sounds like death. It's so bad. Ooh, Ooh you're bold. We're up in the wheel like that. Oh! Dude, I'm going back. <laughs> it yeah. sounds so bad. This is not safe in any manner. Like Agreed, this, yeah. This, you should not do this. Let's put the real coil first on now so we can actually have some fun in this guy. All right, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Sorry, Rick. Hey, why are you revving it? Any second, Ev's gonna come. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> oh my God! How's it look? Looks sick. Like we thought you'd be out here. I was like, real what are you guys quick. Doing? Was doing we did the exhaust down. video yesterday. So this is with cut springs. It is so Dude, sketchy to drive. Really, it is so it's terrifying to drive like this. We buy a lot of cars here at Throttle. Probably over 75 in the past five years, and we've seen it all when they come in the doors here. We've seen cut springs. We've seen mufflers cut off, and we kind of wanted to use this Supra as an example of some things not to do, and then also to showcase all the new stuff we have going on. How much better performance the new parts are so please don't cut your springs please don't cut your exhaust off just do it right the first time and you will be so much happier I want to let you guys know real quick they're running double entries to win our 2020 Toyota Super plus $20,000 in cash every dollar you guys spend at throttle.com is gonna get you two entries whether that's on car parts or merchandise head over to the site pick up some new merch pick up some new car parts and let's get back to the video so now that we're taking our cut springs off the A90 Super let me show you what parts we're gonna be working with today we've got a set of BC racing BR series coilovers I absolutely love these coilovers they are so good. We've got some Cusco bracing here. So this is a strut bar. So the factory car actually does not have a strut bar and this replaces an under tray bracing that is aluminum and nice and flimsy. So this is a much stiffer piece and it's gonna add some nice blue to the underside of the car. In true BMW fashion, the A90 Super actually uses a lug bolt, which can be annoying if you don't know how to put the wheel on correctly, but more importantly, switching to a stud is gonna allow us to reduce the wear on the hubs. It's also gonna make the wheels much easier to put on and off the car, which is nice. We're gonna be upgrading that. We have a ton of SBL control arms. So we've got front 
front sway bar end links, front lower control arms, and tie rod. So these are an anti-bump steer tie rod, which is really cool. We've got rear tow arms and both the rear upper control arms. All of these are adjustable, so we can go much further in terms of range than the stock equipment is, and it's also aluminum, so these are nice and super light. And we've got an EBC big racing brake kit. So we just did one of these kits on our FADM3. It turned out absolutely insane, and it works so well. And one of my favorite parts of this kit is it literally shows up in this box, and it's got literally everything you need to go from a complete stock brake kit to this big brake kit. So that's a little insight onto what the parts we're gonna be using for today is. We've got a lot of work to do, so let's get started. So the strut is like pressed into the spindle and it's supposed to be able to slide in and out and I can't get it to move at all, which sucks. So I think we're gonna pull the whole spindle with the strut out of the car and then work on it out of the car to get it out because I can't get it to move at all. So I'm just gonna take it all off anyway, so. Was that that hard? Was that really that hard? I really have to put in a bench press for that? That's crazy. There's no reason for that. Before we put the spindle back in the car, we're gonna be replacing this, which is the lower control arm with an SPL arm, which is this one. So we're gonna install it and then get the spindle back in the car. And then we're gonna put this in the car, which is our BC Racing coilover. Let's go, baby. Let's do it. We're just gonna replace our tie rod and then bolt everything back down. The suspension will be back together on this corner. Six, seven, eight. Whenever you replace tie rod ends, the best place to start with the new tie rod is where the old tie rod was. So if you're taking one off, count how many turns it takes to take it off, then put the new one on that many turns, and that'll get you really close to where you can make minor adjustments instead of making huge adjustments. There you go, tip of the day. All right, well these cars come with lug bolts, and lug bolts suck. So we're gonna use Motorsports Hardware. Ain't that right, Quinn? I mean, if you got the technique to put them on, it's not really that bad, but uh, for 90% of the time, it, it's really inconvenient. We reached out to Motorsports Hardware, and they sent us their stud kit. So essentially, this threads in to our hub, just like that, and converts our hub to a studded hub versus a bolt-type hub.
our front suspension is complete. The BC coilovers look amazing and all the SPL arms are gonna keep us right where we need to be. So now we're gonna move into our big brake kit on the front by EBC. We've got everything we need here to put a big brake kit on the front. We've got pads, rotors, calipers, hardwares, brackets, lines, and fluid. Once we get the big brake kit on the car and blood, we'll move into our rear suspension and then finish the car out with some bracing. Let's keep going. So we're gonna start by installing our rotor and then we're gonna get our whole caliper set up and the pad set up here. And then the brake line is gonna go on last and I'm actually gonna leave all of the factory stuff hanging here. The reason is, is I don't wanna take that stuff off and then this thing is just here dripping brake fluid while I'm trying to figure all this stuff out. So by having the caliper on and completely assembled, we can just take the old line off, boop, put the new line on, boop, kind of like hot swap. And there, it's gonna- There's a line right there. Yeah, it's right here. So that's gonna do a couple things. One, it's gonna make my life a little bit easier. And two, it's gonna let not as much brake fluid out of the system. What I don't wanna do is completely drain everything and then we gotta do like an ABS bleed and all these weird stuff starts happening. So if I could just hot swap everything, it's gonna make it a lot easier and cleaner. So we're gonna do that. Let's get the rudder. Hot swap number one. Hot swap number one, brother. So here's the annoying part is that this fender liner is in the way. But if I can like peel it back, I can like get to it. But trying to put the new stuff on like that is gonna suck. What's gonna suck even more is trying to take the fender liner off. So I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. <laughs> We did one hot swap and I'm gonna add some fluid before we do the other one so I don't run it all dry. Ricky and I just finished bleeding the brakes and now it's time for this. Oh wait, 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 wait. It's time wait, for this, wait, it's time wait, for this. I'm wait, doing wait, it, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Oh yeah. Front suspension, completely done. EBC brakes are on, it looks sick. Now we're gonna move into the rears, let's go. Yeah. Here you go, Ricky. What is that? That's a cut spring. I was trying to... Oh. You ever cut your strings, Ricky? Oh yeah, plenty of time. <laughs> what? Quinn and Mickey were like, I've, I've never done this I've never before. done it, I've never cut springs. I've never cut springs before. Yeah, Neither has- make a little disclaimer. Neither has Mickey. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Yeah, I've done it a lot of times. Damn, we really cut the springs on this Supra. That's crazy. Got hit in the you face really hard right now. It, it, it oh, missed that would have by hurt. like it was here and it just went. <laughs> what I like about these SPL arms is that it has this just like a spacer section. So a lot of the aftermarket arms that we do, when you have it in a pocket like this, it does like one of these where it goes in and then like you can't access the thing anymore, which is not the case for these. You're right. Really so then nice. when you try to adjust. Yeah, then it's like a nightmare. So you gotta like, pull it all if out. If it was normal, then this end, like this is how it usually is, where it's like, so then once it goes in there, it's like buried and you can't get to it, which sucks. So You're right. that's a really well thought design right there. Yeah. Yeah. So that's gonna go there. Boom. Yeah. And we're not quite there yet. Not yet. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. The other way, the other way, the other, other way. way. Right there. 
Right we're there? In. We're that in. makes it work? We're in. Wait, can we just talk about how nice the SPL arms look compared to the... What do you mean? You don't like... Hey, whoa! Hey! 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 Whoa. I gotta tighten this down, brother. You don't like this? this is sure, so cool, whatever. It looks cool from factory. Like, oh, it does not look cool, bro. This is not good. Well, it just not good. It looks like just kind of bland. And it like, looks cheap. Yeah, cheap. Maybe it looks cheap. It does. And then you look at that thing and you're just like... That's boom. Cheap. Yeah. You have SPL who's like, let's make a bomb control arm for the Supra, and then they come up with this. Boom. Which is all nice and aluminum, and you have a huge range of adjustment over zero adjustment, mm -hmm. and you have Heim instead of these old rubber bushings that are going to Oh, I see what you're saying. Man. All the arms are on, the coilovers are on, now we're gonna move into the Cusco bracing. So this is the first one. This is gonna replace the stock, whatever this piece is, the beautiful blue. This oh, thing wait, is also super flimsy. <laughs> ah! That's why the stock one sucks. That's why you need a Cusco one. You can't do this. I did that. Let's go, rear under bar's done. Now time for the strut bar. This is going somewhere. Whoa, what is this guy? No. Okay. We're gonna hide it? I actually don't know. Where I think it's seen. I think you see it. I hope I you can see it. Cause this is a beautiful piece yeah. to be hidden. You need help figuring this out? Yeah, we don't know where it goes. Yeah. Hey, he said right here. Is that true? No, oh, Ricky. Good. Maybe it's from here to here. Why don't you look at the instructions? Nah, translate. nah, 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 nah. Google nah. Translate. So where does that one go? Aki. Ain't no way in hell, boy. Aki. Wait, wait, wait. That might actually be right. That could very well <laughs> no. actually be right. Aki dice! Va la parte de al lado, Aki. that's Japanese. Yeah, Aki dice que va aquí. I mean, you might be right, actually. It's... Bam! Bro! My boy reads, dude. He reads it. Let's go. We got it. Oh, that was an actual picture here. <laughs> no way. No way. Ooh! What's up? Is this tap, tap dance on me? I don't need no instructions! on the ground for the first time. Go. 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 Oh yeah. That's proper. I almost want a little more on the front. That toe is gone. I need to adjust the toe. <laughs> so I think we make all the wheels straight first. Yeah. And then see where it's at here. I almost want to wait for the new wheels to make any real significant adjustment. Okay. I, I feel that. But let's get the wheels straight first, because the steering wheel's straight, and that's it. That's not straight. That's not straight. No, the other ones are straight. That's a big difference on toe, man. Just by lowering it. We need the arms, too. We measure the arms. That's insane. 
Let's get it straight and go for a drive. Yeah. The suspension on the Mark V Super is completely finished and I've made a slight alignment adjustment. Our wheels are actually straight this time. So we're gonna get this thing on the ground and go take it for a drive. You ready? Yeah, that's why I'm wiping it because it's, oh, it's raining. I shouldn't be. Yeah, it's not raining enough for us to not drive the car. No, for yeah. sure, but I'm wiping it clean. I'm still gonna finish wiping it. It's gotta be clean. Let's say we ended up here. I'm gonna bring the car down. Uh. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Lolo, look at that, dude. Lolo, that's so good. I don't know if it's gonna be able to stay this low with the new wheel and tire package we're gonna be putting on this thing, but for the stock wheels, it's a really hot look. Oh, you let me drive? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's you pull it off. you would have heard the noises that this car made with cut springs. Oh, it was not here. It was literally the worst noises I've ever heard a car make ever. I was not It was here. really bad. Imagine if you took all of the top hat nuts and okay. put them on one quarter turn. Okay. And then loosened everything else in the suspension. That's oh. literally how it sounded. It almost sounded even worse than that. This- I mean, so far I don't hear anything already significantly smoother. It feels really good. Now, unfortunately, it is raining outside, it is wet, so we can't really push the suspension. The exhaust is sound nice oh, though. Oh, dude, so, it sounds so good. We can't really push the car too much and start taking corners really hard to test the new suspension, because it is raining and we're not trying to die, but- oh, Not today. The car feels really good. It's nice and stiff, and I'm excited when it dries up to actually go and push this thing and see what it feels like. Damn, this is badass. It feels like a stock suspension, to be honest. It feels great. It's not bouncy. I'm trying to hit every pothole oh, I can. The front end is very responsive. Yeah, 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 for sure. Dude, the alignment was so off. You did a <laughs> freaking excellent job, dude. It was also the first test drive, so I did yeah. a test drive. Like, it's oh, straight. Look, it is straight. Yeah, straight. Good job, bro. Never eyeball. It's getting better, dude. Yeah. You're pretty good. No, this is like legit really good. Oh, let me hit this pothole. Oh, we good. We good. Yeah, nothing, bro. We're good. Not a noise. All right, man. Good job, bro. All those SPL arms are also going to allow us to really adjust everything when we get our new wheel and tire package on. I noticed the rear has a little bit more camber than I'd like to see on the final car. And we're going to be able to push and pull that spindle out as we need to to get the camber exactly where we want, which is awesome. So we have the new wheels. They're in the shop. We haven't shown them to you yet. And we're going to wait to the next episode for that. I have I think. Them. I think that's, I haven't seen them either, but they're in the boxes in the shop. So okay. I think that's the one of the first things we're gonna do in the next video to get this thing finalized and get the look we're actually after on this car, which I'm very excited for. So that's gonna be it for today's episode, guys. We got all of the suspension done on the Mark V Super. The EBC brakes feel amazing. The BC Racing coilovers feel amazing. The SPL arms and the motorsport hardware studs are a nice touch. So I cannot wait to go for a test drive when it's actually dry out and really see how this thing handles. I'm sure it's gonna be absolutely insane. Yeah! Let's go. Remember guys, this is our current sweepstakes car. We are running double entries for a limited time. So every dollar you spend on throttle.com is going to get you two entries to win this car plus $20,000 in cash. So head over to the site, pick up some merch, pick up some car parts, get your entries while you can. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to drop a comment down below how you think our Mark V Super is turning out. Like and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace. See ya.